Elementary in the studio with us, and we're excited because these two teams are going to the Nationals at Georgia Tech in the Sea Perch Robotics Competition. Let me introduce to my immediate left, this is uh, the coach, uh, Shirley Romero, and then to her left is Sherry Almaderos, uh, team captain, uh, Haley Guman, a team captain. Yeah, two different teams going, and the names of your teams? Eva Kella Wales. Okay, and? Eva Kapulioka Ehukai. Okay, and, and this is pretty amazing because this competition that happened just last month had 53 teams. I mean, we're talking elementary, middle, and high school, right? Correct. Uh, 53 teams from um, the state. Okay, and these two elementary teams are the ones that will represent and go to the national competition? Correct, yes. The advanced to the finals. I mean, they advance to um, uh, Georgia Tech and they'll compete in the national. Okay. That, this is an underwater robotic, so it's a little bit different. We're showing you the robots here that, that were built, and you guys put these together from scratch. Uh, Sherielle, tell me a little bit about what's, what's in these robots. How'd you make them? Um, so in the beginning of the year, in January, we started to measure and cut the PVCs, and we put them together, and we had to solder the circuit board and put it in the control box that we used to control the ROV underwater. So everything had to be protected, right, because it's operating in, in a pool. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the underwater robotics, you've got these robots made. So now tell me, uh, Haley, what do the robots have to do? What's the task underwater? The robot has to do two different tasks. One is an obstacle course where you have to maneuver your ro rover through a set of 18-inch um, hoops and then surface and resubmerge in the fastest time. And we also had to do a challenge course where we have to lift cube, PVC cubes and hoops and put it on a PVC platform. So this is very complicated what these robots have to do underwater and it's just incredibly exciting that two elementary teams will represent after competing with both middle and high school. So this is expensive. I have to imagine you're trying to raise some funds to help support that trip, right? Yes, going to Georgia is expensive um, so we are doing fundraising to help get these um, eight students to uh, Georgia and compete with the rest of the Team from the nation. I know there's there's people out there right now that would love to support these kids in their efforts. How, how would they find out what they can do? Is there a website or something they can go to? Yes, we um, have um, created a snap base. Uh, we also are doing um, uh, Zoomathon as well as Pizza Hut, uh, uh, Panda Express, and a car wash this Saturday at Eva Elementary. Okay, Saturday at Eva Elementary, that's one way. You know, we'll put all this stuff on our website at hawaiinewsnow.com so that you can learn more about these uh, great kids and the efforts that they're putting forward to go to Georgia Tech and support Hawaii, uh, represent Hawaii in this national sea perch robotics competition. Let me just say congratulations to all of you. Nice job, and good luck in Georgia Tech. We'll take a break and be back with more Sunrise on your Wednesday in just a moment.